What's going on you guys? Theo here with the big review back yet again with another King of Fighters All-Star video and real quick I just wanted to do a quick intro to this and let you guys know that I was uploading this video in its entirety and right as I did so I uh, found out that the trailer for King of Fighters 15 had been postponed thanks to some unknown reason. So I was going to let you guys know that we were going to be doing a reaction for King of Fighters 15 tonight and unfortunately that is no longer happening so rip the meme continues that King of Fighters 15 is not a real thing. But the other important news I wanted to talk about real quick is the fact that SNK and Netmarble have come to a new agreement. So for those of you who thought or were worried that this game was suffering in some way, shape, or form or going to go somewhere, it is not. Fortunately, the game is, from what it sounds like, in very good hands and very healthy. So this is awesome news. I will link the article in the description below. But this is great news for all of us who love this game. So be excited. But the other thing that I wanted to talk about is we are just shy of 400 subscribers as of the making of this video. So if you've not already done so, please make sure that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's sitting right there waiting for you. We have tons of content coming in the future here, including a collab with other channels and some other things going on that will be very exciting this year. So you guys enjoy the rest of this video. I'm going to let you all go and enjoy it, but I will talk to you all real soon. Peace. What's going on you guys? Theo here with the big review back yet again with another King of Fighters All-Star video and today we are going to be taking a look at the New Year's update but before we do make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. Helps me out a ton as a new YouTuber. So as you'll see here this is the new weekly login streak bonus so it's going to give you up to 500 rubies total which is going to be very nice for those of us who have been completely broken due to the boss syndrome characters as well as the seven knights. The boss syndrome characters are now officially gone for those of you who missed out, then I'm sure you'll have another opportunity, but do be aware that they are now gone. But moving on here, we're going to take a look at the Athena roulette. We've already taken a look at Athena in a previous video, and as I said before, she's a pretty decent gold border character for those of you looking for good budget characters. She's going to have shock damage as well as explosion on her cores. She has a stun. So overall, she's pretty darn good for a gold border. She has a pretty nice leadership bonus for purple units as well. So overall, I would say that you could do far worse for gold border characters than Athena 2000. Like I said in the video previously that we spoke of her when she was first added into the Unified banner, she isn't going to be anything super special outside of a good budget option for purple. But... If you need budget characters, you can do far worse than her. We'll take a look at her skills here. So there you'll see she has her S1, which is going to obviously be her projectile, which is a little bit on the slower side, but you have to expect that from a gold border character. That being her S2 there, which is a bit of a teleport, so that looks pretty nice. And then you have Phoenix Arrow EX, which again, another bit of a slow attack, but again, you can't complain when it comes to these gold border characters. You kinda you kinda get what you sign up for. So we'll move on to the finishers here. And uh, I'm only gonna show the finishers one time. And uh, yeah, that's for a specific reason. We'll talk about that here in a second. But yeah, so overall, this Athena, pretty decent. There's your there's your fan service, guys. That's the only time I'm showing it. There you go. So, <laughs> but overall, she she's not a bad character. I would definitely recommend trying to go for her in this roulette. If you are someone who needs a gold border purple that doesn't have necessarily the resources or you're a new player, she will probably help you out in the early game content. I would say that she's probably not going to do a ton for you Outside of that, like most of these gold border characters, I am going to be doing a gold border character, not tier list, but I will be doing a kind of just general list of gold border character suggestions for each color coming up here very soon. It's definitely going to be this month that I'm going to get around to that, so stay tuned for that series of videos. But if you go to your craft menu, you can also craft her with the souls that you get from her 
So that's also very nice. And then you can also craft her memories up to seven times. So very, very cool that they did this. You can craft the cards, obviously, for her, for her finishers. And yeah, so overall, pretty good. Um, I would say definitely go in on this. See if you can get lucky. Make sure you're doing your ads every day for her. Make sure that you go for bingos for her souls. And you should overall, at some point, end up with her. The rates, I know, aren't necessarily the greatest on these roulettes, but typically, through sheer perseverance, you eventually will end up with the character. But overall, another roulette, not anything to kind of add there, but let's move on and talk about the Andy and Mai's Love and War Begins in the New Year dungeon. So... You're going to see here, these are the new rewards for this, and there is actually a random fest voucher, which actually has all of the current fests in it, I believe, outside of the Christmas characters. I don't believe... Let me see. Oh, actually, no. Winter Love Messenger Goro is in there, so yeah, there's uh, Jeanette as well. So this is going to be an up-to-date ticket, so that's kind of cool. Unfortunately, it's not a selector, but yeah, that's going to be the reward for finishing this. And then you'll see the rest of the rewards. You get up to 10 of the all-star voucher tickets and then up to 10 of the battle card tickets. So this is a pretty cool mileage for this. I definitely would not recommend going in on this thing until the SP dungeon opens up, I believe, in about five days. We'll take a look at that here in a second. But whenever the SP dungeon, for any of these dungeons like this, you always kind of want to wait, like I've said in the past with the Christmas one, you want to wait for the SP dungeon to open up before you use your AP on this, because you'll get definitely a lot more out of your AP going that route. It's okay to go through and get your rubies for this, but I wouldn't be spending a bunch of extra AP to grind this or put it on auto or anything like that. So, yeah, it looks like five days. So, there you go. There's going to be, obviously, your bonus characters and cards for this. So, yeah, pretty neat that we got another one of these back-to-back. It's always nice to have these. We don't have any idea what's in the shop for this yet. You cannot access it. So we'll have to wait and see when the SP dungeon opens up what is in the shop. But hopefully it's something good. I'm sure that it'll probably be kind of more of the same or similar to what we got with the Christmas one. But yeah, overall, welcome event. Now, moving on here, this is going to be the new Relay Dungeon. And again, I don't have any idea what a ghost has to do with New Year's, but there you'll see the rewards. We get some gold hammers, which is always nice. I definitely am looking for those right now as I try to max out the stones for my Boss Syndrome Rugal. But we'll go ahead and we'll jump into this and see if this is as laggy as the Chang Kohan Christmas dun Relay Dungeon, because that one is still absolutely abysmal for frame rate, but... Yeah, so all I can say about this Whisper King thing is I'm, I'm just going to assume this is like an insider joke at Netmarble and it's like one of those things where it's the ghost of 2020. And if that is not the case, then I'm just going to call this the ghost of 2020. We're going to go with that and that way we can find some sort of rhyme or reason as to why this is a, a thing for the New Year's event. But as you'll see here, he's definitely not hard to take down. You'll be able to do it. You get tons and tons of teams that you can use for this. I can probably take him down with this first team myself, but for those of you who are using even things like Gold Border mixed teams and things of that nature, you should be able to get through this no problem. But yeah, so do this every day. Make sure that you go for your hammers and things of that nature. Those are always premium currency in the game for certain things that you will need obviously the stones are going to be kind of a make or break for specific dungeons and things of that nature in order to do the amount of damage needed to clear them completely so you'll definitely want to do this every day we'll see what the rewards we get here are and yep so there's our gold hammers we get some uh, the medium size hammers or the middle hammer there and then some coins so yeah pretty cool uh, moving on here, this is going to be one of the other dungeons here. This is going to be the Protect the Cake. You'll see you can get some capsules, which is very nice. We've had this one in the past. I don't know if they've changed anything with it at all. We'll check it out here and see. But looks like you will be able to get some daily capsule mystery boxes out of here, which is always a welcome addition. I know that I was completely broke on capsules for the first time in a very long time after going ahead and building Orochi and Rugal after this past boss syndrome banner. So 
Now, as far as when I think we are going to see the Boss Syndrome characters return, I do think we are definitely going to see them return. And I think it can happen any number of ways. I don't know if the plan with these guys going forward is to make them kind of a special case, kind of a special rerun event type of thing, or if the idea is to wait a little while and then add them to the Unified Pool. There is precedent in the past for them adding characters onto a specific banner. Now, obviously, this was very early on in the Unified Banner's lifespan, but there is history of them adding characters to the banner late or after they have already originally run after X amount of time. So time will tell. We'll find out. I wouldn't be too broken up about it if you didn't get these guys. Obviously, they are luxury items in my opinion, but definitely... If you are a fan of either of these characters and you just couldn't go for them or you didn't end up pulling them, then don't be too upset. You will have another chance, I'm sure. It just comes down to when they offer that opportunity. As far as when we see more Boss Syndrome characters, I really hope that it is a bi-monthly situation, meaning that we had these guys in January, so hopefully we don't see any more Boss Syndrome characters until at least March. Maybe after the next collab ends, I'm kind of hoping that that is the schedule with this because if we get new Boss Syndrome characters every month, think of it this way. As an example, in the near future, we're supposed to be getting a new collab next month, probably we'll assume after the Valentine's Day events. So you will go ahead and you get your collab and then you get a Boss Syndrome banner like right before, that would not be cool. So. Let's hope that that does not happen, because if in the month of February we get a Valentine's banner potentially, or a Valentine's event on top of Boss Syndrome characters and a collab, people are going to be pissed. So let's hope. <laughs> I can already see the, the posts, but yeah, let's hope that that is not the case. Let's hope that they keep the trend going where we don't see more of these until after the collab and it becomes kind of a bi-monthly thing. Uh, and it doesn't turn into the next Lady Fighter situation where it seemed like there for a while we were getting new Lady Fighters back to back to back to back. So there you'll see our rewards. We got some skip tickets and some capsule boxes. So not we have about two weeks with these events, so we'll have plenty of time to grind out these items. But let's move on and talk about this Yuri Mallet event. So you'll see here these are the rewards for it. I do believe, if I do recall correctly, this is the first time that we have had this event. I know we had a version of it with the Lady Chang Kohan uh, Mallet event, but this one I'm assuming is the same. <laughs> That's that's cheeky, we'll put it that way. Anyway, I told you guys that was going to be the only fan service with the Athena thing, and then you had, here we are. But anyway, let's uh, see if I can be a master uh, mallet swinger, as it were, with this thing. I did pretty good with the Lady Chang one, uh, surprisingly. This It gets faster the more that you get into it, so it actually uh, it tends to get a little bit more difficult. But man, I'm, I'm nailing it right now. Oh, missed it. So the second I say that, I end up missing. But yeah, the more the, the more of these that you hit, the better that you do, the more rewards that you will get. So this will be around, like I said, for two weeks like the rest of the events. So if you guys make sure to not forget to do this every day because you will want to try and go for some of these random stone drops. But we actually did really well with that one. I wonder, I guess we'll see here. I, we have to have gotten all of them. Yeah, there we go. All right, so cool. Awesome. Well, apparently I'm really good at this. So, <laughs> All right, well, let's see what we get for our rewards. It looks like we are going to get a bunch of, yeah. So nothing too crazy here, but in here you'll see the items that you get for this. So you'll get some more capsules, some more auto clear tickets. So really cool that they did this. It gives you some pretty decent rewards. So that is going to be the Yuri new year's event now let's move on and talk about this new all-star lucky ticket for the welcome 2021 event i think this is unless i'm mistaken the first time we've ever seen this ticket but basically it's going to give you a random drop of either rubies all-star summon tickets all-star battle card summon tickets so on and so forth so this is pretty cool we'll go ahead and open it up but it looks like you'll be able to get this for clearing the relay dungeon daily so looking like we'll probably be able to get this every day i would assume so that'll be nice hopefully we uh, get some rubies out of this lord knows that we all need them at this point um 
But we'll go ahead and we will open that up and then we'll move on to opening some of these tickets that I've had laying around the past few days. I've been trying to get as many of these tickets for mini summon sessions as humanly possible because, to be honest with you, it looks like here we got uh, the gold memory selector, so rip us. But I've been trying to get as many of these tickets as possible because I don't believe I'm going to be going in, as I've said before, on any more banners unless they release something that is just too good for me to pass on. So right now we are probably going to be in complete save mode until the foreseeable future, at least until the next... Oh, and we got a Fest card. Let's see what it is. Hopefully something good. Another Ryogu, Ryogo uh, card, but... I think that is not... We, we are almost at three sets. I don't think that's the one I needed, though. No, that's not the one I needed, so... All right, well, you can sit in my inbox for the foreseeable future, but... Yeah, I don't think that we are probably going to be pulling on anything here in the near future. So I want to use some of these tickets here. At least give you guys something to watch summon-wise for the next month. Because, <laughs> I, 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 like I said, I think February is going to be a stacked month for new content. And I want to make sure that we are well prepared for what comes with that. I do have some pretty big things planned for this next collab. I actually have a collab of my own I'm working on, so stay tuned for that. But a lot of big things coming up in the month of February, and I want to make sure I'm prepared. So for those of you in the past who did not know me on Discord or know my account, I actually used to have around 60 to 70k rubies saved up at any given time. Unfortunately, the past couple of months they have been rolling out the bangers when it comes to these banners and these characters, so I am definitely not there anymore, but hey, it is what it is. We'll get back up there. Typically, if, as long as you're being kind of religious with making sure you're going through and doing your dailies every day, you will end up with a pretty nice stash of rubies by the end of a couple of months worth of time of saving. So I think that by the time the middle to the end of February rolls around, we could be easily where we need to be to take full advantage of most of the things that will drop on the first or second day of the collab. So shouldn't be a big deal. Anyway, guys, that is going to be today's video. Make sure if you haven't already done so, like, share, and subscribe. Let's get to 400 subs, and I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.